Right, yesterday's page, I said I'd do something else on this today because still sewing going on that I don't want you to see yet. Um, I've put a line across it because I thought it needed connected and I know there's still a lot going on down here, uh, nothing going on down here, a lot of open space, but you know, it's a slow process. It's uh, put it on the back burner, let it smoulder. So I've been thinking, I know what I'm going to do with that already, and then I think, you're so boring Karen, you do the same thing all the time. But the thing is, I get, I've just finished pockets class, and this is something I did a lot of in pockets class, and so that's still fresh in my mind. I'm working on some new stuff that's going to take me in another direction in the new class, the sampling class, but obviously I can't share that here. So this is still part of me and part of what's on my mind at the minute, so it's still a record. What I'm doing here is still recording where I am in my head creatively at the moment, although not exclusively. So this, you've probably seen this other one. Um, this was like a big standalone sheet. I'll pull out a bit. So this was like a big standalone sheet that I started on my blog. Um, could still have lots of stuff added to it. Not finished, not necessarily. Still on the back burner. This is one similar that I started in Pockets class that hasn't had anything done to it since then. But again, that'll be a slow burner. I'm not in any hurry to get these finished. I know that they're there. They're being taken care of. They're safe. They're not getting damaged, so, you know, they can wait until I need them. They're there for when I need them and I can pick them up. I know that they're there and if I feel like adding something on here one day, then it's just there ready for me to do that. So this one here is probably going to be similar in some ways to this one and this one. Okay, that's why I got those out. So I'm going to pull in again because what I want to do... And you can laugh at me if you want, I don't mind, I'm old enough, I can take it. Um, I'm just going to put some rings around this. On this one, it's stitched down with light loops. But on this one, it's drawn with loops. So that's what's going to happen on here. And I've got a selection of pens, I just grabbed a handful of pens. Um, and I'm going to test the colours before I use them because that's what I do. Um, it keeps blurring when I move stuff doesn't it? I'll have to be conscious of that. So if I test this one down here then I'll know whether I want to use it or not. Definitely want to use that one. And some of these I recognise actually um, because I've been using these pens a lot lately. Definitely want to use that one. You can bet your life I'm going to end up using all of these. I mean, as long as I've tested them first, it doesn't matter because if I put something on there that I didn't like the colour of, it wouldn't be uh, reversible. So, oh, and I like that one. It's a brown, but it's kind of like a ready brown. It's really nice. So, yeah, I mean, we know, don't we? They're all going to get used. They're all going to get used, and this is red. Well, actually, I'm not going to use that one because it's too bright. I don't want that one. So I'm going to put that one away. Right, so I'm going to turn this around so it's the right way for me. And I'm just going to put some, like, almost trying to replicate with pen as if there was bullion knots on here. Quite difficult because they're not necessarily going to show on top of that blue but I'm not aiming for a Picasso or something to hang in the National Gallery these are just very basic doodles just for me to perhaps be inspired inspired by at some point in the future you never know it's okay it adds something I'm happy with it anyway perhaps make them a little bit flatter not as obviously circular. I won't get another one in there. And then, tomorrow, what I'm going to do today, later today, I'm going to put myself another bag together. Um, Again, following on from what happened in Pockets class, something I made in there. And I'll show you the piece tomorrow. I'm going to 
work from. But I want to make another one. Um, so I'm thinking about when I'm gathering the fabrics and things later. I might film that for tomorrow. And that should look for tomorrow as well. But that's enough with that dark one, I think. That's quite a dark one, but it's more vibrant, it's a purpley colour. Wondering actually if I should put some lemon on this, some yellow. But I think I'll get the, uh, the green on next, that might lift it. Needs to be lifted a bit. Might not put any of the royal blue on. I just don't know where I could fit the yellow in. Um, well, I think that green lifts it sufficiently though, don't you? It's a shame I can't fit another one in there. I hope this hasn't been blurring because I'll do maybe the top of another one. Looks like there's a top of another one there. I get carried away and forget to check the camera. Yeah, no, I think that's all right. So if I just turn that round to face me, something here. Oh, see, now that didn't take any time at all, did it? But it's added something. There, and don't forget about the Doodle group on Flickr either. I'll try and remember to put the link on. Anybody can join that. I don't comment on anything over there. I don't get involved. I just set it up for people who wanted to doodle and have somewhere to put the daily doodles um, so anybody can join it's amazing so many people over there doodling and putting pictures in there it's fabulous fabulous so that's it okay i like it it's, it works it adds something and then obviously i still got all this to fill but i've also got my little color test at the bottom i love these but you get them on the salvage of fabrics don't you um, so there, there you go.